Yo guys, welcome back to another video. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to do that insane skin glow you saw in the intro. So what you want to do is go over your beat drop. I'm using Soul by Ron and my clip. And you're just going to want to pretty much get to the first number of the frames, um, the numbers pop up. Close your clip there and drag it onto your beat drop. And now you're going to want to cut it. And you're also going to want to unlink both uh, um, both clips. Delete the audio because we're going to be messing with them later and we'll just drag in sound effects. I'm going to drag this up. And now you're going to want to pretty much um, keep this one here. Now you're going to want to find, go um, get on your beat drop and hold shift and click the left arrow key. Go one second back. Don't click on anything. And click this to put a marker above. Um, and this is going to be one second behind. This is where our build is going to start. So now what you want to do is find a good spot for this to start. So now you're going to drag this. Um, away from where this um, kill happens. We have the kill here and we'll sync it back up. But pretty much just want to drag it back. And make sure if you can't drag it back, just cut the back, cut, cut from the back. And now you just want to find a good spot for it to start. So I'm going to start right, right around here when my character is flying through the air. And now what you want to do is pretty much go to retime controls and open retime curve. Click this, that, um, click retime speed, unclick retime frame. And now you're going to want to go to that point you saw. Onto that, on that little marker, add a speed point, and now go to the end and go frame five frames to the left. One, two, three, four, five. Um, oops. One, two, three, four, five. Add a speed point, and now you're gonna want to go here and drag this down all the way to 10%. All right, so once you do that, you can go over here, drag that up, and now you're gonna go into your beat drop and drag this little circle over. And you're gonna want to make sure the back of it lines up perfectly with the beat drop. And now um, you know you can just drag this back down. And now it's gonna look like three FPS. You're just gonna go to optical flow, enhance better and smoother. And now it's slow motion accelerates into the kill. And now you're gonna want to go to here, retime controls and retime speed. Retime speed. Um, click retime speed. Unclick retime frame. Go one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Add a speed point, drag this all the way up to 300%, and then drag this back part down to like uh, 33 around there. Click that, click the little circle, click this th th right there, and then you want to do that. And now, now it's a good um, velocity now, just to make it optical flow. And that's pretty clean. So now what you're going to do is close out a retime curve on both of them and now what you want to do is come here split the clip click on it press alt drag it up and now you're going to go to the color tab and now this is where you can you can do two things here one of them is going to make it look really good and the other one's still going to make it look good just not as good so you can either do this you can go to the beginning press um click this mask your entire character like this make it like really exact and then keyframe it and then go every whoops keyframe it and then go every single frame through it masking your character which is really tedious and annoying or you could just um click the circle keyframe it and this will not look as good but it's a lot easier i can tell you that and um you get about the same result i think so what you want to do is make the circle click on this the circle's there and now just you can extend the circle and then you're just going to want to make it so it's kind of Enclosing your character. You don't want it to be um, completely around your character. You don't want it to leave excess around. You want it to ha cover your character and leave a little bit out, I guess. And now what you want to do, come over here and make the softness like 3.5. That's this little thing, and you'll see why we'll do that. And now this circle should pretty much just stay in your character the whole time because this is the character stays in the same place the whole screen. And now you're just going to want to come over here and add alpha output, connect that. You're gonna pretty much want to do this. Uh, right click on it and open infusion page. Now once you're here, I'm gonna leave this in the description. Um, this is it. This is the skin glow settings, I guess, preset. I made this myself. Um, pretty much what you want to do is um, be in your fusion tab. I'll leave it in a drive. Um, you guys can download it. It's just a preset. And you just drag into the fusion. It's there. It's got edge detect, cloud psycho, and all that. And you just want to hold shift on all of them. And pretty much, um, it comes default red, because red's my favorite color, so I just made it red. But if you want to change the color, 
come back to here and then just go into color tab and you are going to just want to change the hue so if you want to change it to blue change it to 90 or so and you just mess around with the hue and you can change the color by the way for this you're going to need sapphire plugins for the s underscore cloud cycle and s underscore rays it's really easy to get i'll leave a link in the description and now another thing you can do to make it look a lot better come into the color tab and just turn the saturation up to 100 this makes it a lot brighter um and then if you want it brighter for whatever reason you can turn the color boost up even more so 50 in that case um so now we can examine our character and we can see okay it's not getting down there so now what you want to do is just come to the circle and you can just make it a little bigger and now the circle's a little bigger and it'll get more of the character on it um instead of making it bigger you can also just change the feather that can make it just um fade out around more but just change both of those to change the size but so that already looks really really cool and so now what you want to do is um since you have sapphire plugins um just come over here type in hue and open effects and hue sap right and now you want to drag this onto our bottom one um not the top one with the effects just the bottom one and pretty much what you want to do is at the very beginning you're going to want to keep in the saturation and brightness and then go um like 15 frames forward 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 11 12 13 14 15 and you want to turn saturation to zero and the brightness i don't know like to 0 0.3 around there and then now you're also going to want to drag this 15 frames forward so wait till this little thing says 50 plus 15 all right, there, 15, and now it... Um, so yeah, that's that. Now you're gonna want to go and get the shake um, preset that I have in the um, project file that has all the effects. Um, it's just a basic shake. Um, it'll have the shake, and, and that just adds all, another dimension to it. And now also what you can do is... Um, Search up flicker, so S underscore flicker, drag that on. And you're going to want to make the flicker amplitude here. Um, make it at zero at the beginning, and then keyframe it, and make it at one at the end, and then make the luma amp at 1.2 around there. And that just makes the flicker really, really hard, obviously, and gives a nice dimension to it, I guess. Um, Alright, so now what you want to do to make this even better you're obviously going to want to um have sound effects so i'm going to drag in my high quality pump sound effect i'll have this um in the google drive too you just want to sync that up with your beat drop and that's on there and now um you're going to want to have this one this one sound seven um that's going to be in there too as well have that this little part line up with the pump shot and you want to turn this down to like negative negative four so and then you're also going to bring the build up one and you're trying to drag this down and then you just want to extend this so you can see wavelength and you're just on the kill you're just going to have this big part and now all right so now for this really cool echo part you're just going to cut the section of the audio around your build up so from the build up to the kill cut those two out and now you're going to want to search up reverb and now you're going to come to audio effects and you're going to see reverb pop up so you're just going to drag that on there this is going to pop up don't be scared just close it and now you're going to want to go to effects and you'll see all these things so pretty much what you want to do is where you cut it out just um you're just going to i'm going to drag these down so i have room but you drag this down and then drag this over like 15 frames and you just want to have this fade out so this, this audio and then have this fade in so and it'll sound like this and it's gonna be super cool so if that's a little bit too much of an echo for you just come over here to dry slash wet and you can just bring this down so zero is nothing and um 50 is a little and 100 is the max so, so i'm gonna stick with like maybe i don't know 75 that seems about cool. so yeah that's 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 the first I've ever seen of this. I was just looking through DaVinci because this is an After Effects effect and I guess it's in DaVinci too, so yeah. But now what you're going to do for the impact, you're going to want to drag in the crazy hard impact from the project file in the description. If you don't know how to use that, just look at like 
I don't know, my how to over edit video. I think I should have used it there or some of my other tutorials. But pretty much it's just a really good um, impact. And now you're going to want to drag in um, the hard flicker on kill. This makes it look really nice too. And now you're going to come over here and just type in hue again. Go to open effects and hue stop right. And you're just going to want to. Oops. Come down here at the beginning. You want to keep the saturation at zero and the brightness at 1.2 around there. And then, like a third of the way, you're gonna want to just bring them back. Or right. one. And um, I think that's. So if you guys use this effect, um, you guys can um, comment down below and I'll just tell me you use it in your most recent montage or something and I'll check it out. But don't be weird and self promote, like, don't be, do that bro. But yeah, if this video um, tutorial helped you, please consider dropping a sub. We're trying to hit 5,000 subscribers here. So yeah, and uh, peace.